Hey guys, it's Nick and in this video I want to talk about the oil stocks. They've come a long way in a short period of time. I'm pretty surprised myself how much they've gone up. So I want to talk about the different stocks and talk about if you should think about taking some profits if you're in some of these oil stocks. Now if you just bought some of these oil stocks because they were beaten down and you were just looking for a trade and you're trying to get a little pop out of it, um, you definitely got that in the last week or two or so. And so if you're looking to take profits, uh, pretty soon might be a good time. But if you're looking for longer term and you want to hold it for the dividends and there really are uh, no good alternative stocks with these kinds of dividends that some of the oil stocks are giving right now, you might want to just <laughs> close your eyes and uh, don't look at the stock prices because it might tempt you to sell some of them. Uh, I know it's already tempting me to maybe lighten up on some of these soon. I don't know. We'll see. But you're not going to find these kinds of six, seven, eight, nine percent dividends uh, any place else in the market right now. So it might be a good thing to hold on to these oil stocks for the longer term, especially. Uh, for more than a year, then you pay the capital gains rate instead of just the short term uh, trading uh, tax rate. So let's take a look at some of the bigger oil stocks, take a look at their charts, see how much percentage wise they've gained from the bottom where they were just a few weeks ago till now. And realize that these big oil stocks that are $100 billion companies and, and things like that, um, for them to move. 40, 50, 60 percent from the bottom to now. That's a huge move. And just like when they were down, everybody thought they were never going to come back. Um, now that they're up, I'm sure there's probably people that think they're just going to keep going up forever. And, uh, you know, neither one of those is true. So always have an eye towards kind of the range where you think you might want to get out of these things if they go up too quickly, too fast, uh, too much, too fast. So let's take a look at the charts of some of these stocks now. So let's take a look at the oil ETF XLE to give you an idea of the general broad market of a bunch of oil stocks together and how much they've moved. If you look at this recent low here just a, a month ago, it's about 27 28 i think and now we're at what over 40 dollars so that's about a 50 percent move from the low just in like a month so that is huge uh you see that a year ago in january it was at like 60 dollars. so for it to fall down all the way to 27 um that's a big drop and likewise it's had a big rebound doesn't mean it's going back to $60 anytime soon, but it might still have a ways to go, maybe the 45 level or something like that before there's some kind of pullbacks and uh, a mild correction or something like that. And stochastic doesn't look too bad here. It's at, off the low and it looks like it's really bouncing, but you know, it's done that before as well and uh, do not as good results. So We'll see, don't fall in love with any of these stocks, uh, just treat them as something to make money with, that's all. So here you have ExxonMobil, it's about $42 now, still has a yield of about 8.29% um, at the bottom here. It was yielding, I think, about 10% or so. Uh, that was close to like $30 a share. Now it's up to almost 42. That's about a 40% gain in a few weeks like i said that is huge on a big company like exxon Mobil or chevron or any of these so um, don't think that that can be sustained forever and th there's a lot of distance between where it's trading now and the monthly moving average this is a monthly chart going back one decade and so the 50 period exponential moving average is the monthly moving average for it to get back up to 65 or so, um, <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon. So if you are in this for a trade, again, if it goes around 45 or so, you might start looking to lighten up a little bit, sell a third or a half of your position or something like that. If you're in it for the dividend like I am, uh, you know, just hold on to it. 
Uh, but even even myself who buys these for the dividends, if I'm up 40% or something in a, in a month, that's, that's four years worth of dividends. <laughs> you could wait for it to get 40% or you can take the money and run. Uh, it's a hard choice sometimes, so we'll see what happens. Here's Chevron. It's now $95 and change. Uh, the low was down here around like 65 and now it's like 95. That's like a 46% gain. Not yielding as well as ExxonMobil. So you have a big gain in this thing. If this thing goes a little bit more like to 100 or so, 100 or 5, it's hitting up against this monthly moving average. And so it has come a long way pretty quickly. Um, and the low during the, the shutdown was like $50. So for it to touch $100, that means it's 100% up from the low uh, just a few months back. It's a huge move. And again, um, if, if you have a big profit on this, you know, you might want to you might want to take some of that, maybe offset some of your losses for end of year um, tax reasons and things like that. The dividend is not that great at this point, 5.4 percent. So um, if you have a big gain on this, maybe take some off the table uh, before it reaches 100, like 98, 99 or something. But again, the charts don't look too bad here. Um, it, it could easily blast to 110, I don't know, but I, I would uh, keep an eye on it because it has come pretty fast, pretty quickly. So here's a foreign stock, British Petroleum, BP. For those that don't know that the dividend is not taxed in the UK for American citizens. So it's essentially uh, not tax free. You get taxed in the US, but you don't get the foreign dividend tax on this or Royal Dutch Shell as well. So it's almost $22. It was about 15. So it's also up about 46% or so from its low. Um, dividends pretty good, I would say. And it has a long way to go before it hits its monthly moving average around 35. So um, this, this could have more room to run, who knows. But again, keep an eye on it and don't get too greedy either. Here's RDSA, which is Royal Dutch Shell. Uh, also trades as RDSB. One is a UK company, one is a Netherlands company. It's the same company, just different um, registration or whatever. From a tax perspective, as a US citizen, they're exactly the same now. They used to be different, but the tax laws had changed apparently. So uh, either one is fine. Uh, you won't get taxed on the dividend in those countries. So Royal Dutch Shell is up about 60% off the bottom. Again, a huge move for such a big company. So don't expect it to go on forever and have your points ready on where you're looking to take profit or maybe just sell some covered calls or something like that to get a little income while you still wait for it to go a little higher or something like that. Here's PSX, Phillips 66. Uh, Warren Buffett owned this stock about a year ago and he dumped it. Uh, now it's had a, about a 58% move from the bottom as well. So also a big move for a big company. Dividend yield around 5%. Okay, not great. If, if I was holding this one, which I'm not, I would probably sell before it gets to $80 or so. Here's VLO, Valero. It's a refiner. The yield right now is 6.7%. Uh, it's up about 65% from its low. I'm really kicking myself for not buying this as I was watching it in the low 40s with a much higher yield, like 8.5% or something like that. And uh, I didn't pull the trigger. And now look at it. <laughs> you know, I'm sure everybody has stories like that. So it's up 63%. If you didn't buy it, don't go chasing it. Um, they could easily pull back 15% or something like that um, in a few days. Who knows? So don't chase these things up 60% or so. If you're in them, good for you. If not, uh, maybe wait for the next kind of setup for something like this. And here's another foreign one that I really like, which is Luke Oil, the Russian oil company. It's $68 now, PE ratio of like 12 and a yield of over 10% when it was at its lows. Now it's like 9.8%. 
I really like this one uh, and I own it so I'm talking my book so take that with a grain of salt but I think it has a lot more room to run uh, just because of the way this MACD is here the stochastic at the bottom here bouncing off and this move up it's already at the monthly exponential 50 period moving average so it really looks through like it could uh, blast through here pretty easily with just a few more days of good news so i'm definitely holding this one for a while longer i think so guys that's my look at the oil stocks like i said if you're in them already uh, don't fall in love with them pick your spots on where you might want to lighten up on some of these if you didn't buy these don't go chasing it because you know what always happens uh, as soon as you buy something that's up a lot it goes down you get scared you sell it you get whipsawed it goes back up <laughs> um, so uh, don't chase stocks that are up 40 50 percent it usually doesn't end very well so that's my look at the oil stocks hope you liked this video if you did give me a thumbs up leave a comment on if you think they have more room to run or not and as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now thanks for watching guys